morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is Dr. Garayas for MED 104 Medical Terminology. And today we will be uh, having a quick overview of Chapter 4. So Chapter 4, the musculoskeletal system, that is, uh, it includes muscles and uh, the and your bones. Orthopedics or uh, orthopedic surgery is uh, the specialty that uh, specializes in the musculoskeletal system. Let's go to. Now, these are nice words, epiphyseal plate, but it is better to look at a picture. So your epiphysis, epi means on, upon or on top of. So that's the 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 top end or the bottom ends of long bones and the metaphysis meta means is the prefix that means change that's the transition from the diaphysis which is the complete or thorough shaft of the long bone and uh, meta it changes into epiphysis this little line right here uh, as you're growing up it's called the epiphyseal plate is where your bones grow and when you are, uh, when your height has solidified, that is when um, we call it an epiphyseal line. Skeletal system is, um, there's two, uh, well, there's several categories of it, but axial is everything in the middle and appendicular is your arms and legs. So your axial skeleton is part of your skull, your spine, your sternum, which is your breastbone and your ribs. Um, your spine has several sections. Cervical is your neck section. Thoracic is your chest section. Lumbar is your waist section. And sacral is kind of like uh, it's near your, uh, you know, your backside, uh, near the bottom. And the one part that they failed to mention here is your tailbone, which is your coccyx or coccygeal. And that's C-O-C-C-Y-X for coccyx and C-O-C-C-Y-G-E-A-L for um, the adjective coccygeal. Remember, al, ik, r, right, in lumbar, and al and sacral, al and cervical, and ik in thoracic. That is the suffix that means pertaining to. So those are the adjectives pertaining to the various sections of your, um, your backbone, which is your vertebra. The appendicular skeleton uh, includes your, uh, your arms and hands. And in anatomy and physiology, you'll learn it also includes your collarbone and your uh, scapula or your shoulder blade. And the lower extremities, which is also part of your appendicular skeleton, is your legs, ankles, and feet, and of course, your hip bones as well. Osteo means bone, so osteopathy means uh, a process of pathy is the suffix, process of disease. Osteo is bone. Your periosteum is the outer covering. Peri is the prefix. Uh, Osti is the root. And um is the suffix that means structure of. So it's stru structure surrounding the bone. Your cranium, structure of your skull. Craniometer is anything that measures your, uh, your head. It could be a CT scan, x-ray, or it could be just a tape measure. Cranial malacia. Um, ia, state or condition of mal, which is bad or softening in the case of bones, because we don't we want bones to be hard, not soft. Your cervical spine, we mentioned that um, that's part of your neck. Cervicitis, inflammation or infection of your neck. And also remember, there's also the cervix of, of the female uterus as well. And uterus is the womb uh, in the uh, female anatomy where baby gets to hang out for about 38 to 40 weeks. Um, more stuff, the lumbar, lumbodynia, spondylitis, itis, inflammation and infection of your vertebral column, spondyl, think vertebral column, your brachium, um, structure of your uh, upper arm. So your brachiocephalic nerve is uh, the nerve that runs from your upper arm to your head. Cephal is head. Ick pertaining to arm and head. So in this case, brachy O, that's a root. Cephal O, that's a root, and they're connected together with this O, which is a connecting vowel. 
brachialgia, of course, algia, pain, pain in my upper arm. Dactyl, that is uh, fingers. So adactyly is no fingers. Dactylalgia is pain in my fingers. Your wrist is your carpals or your carpal bones. Um, we know about carpal tunnel syndrome, which is uh, the collapse of the um, of the structures in your wrist. Costo is your lungs. So if my patient had a costectomy, costectomy, let's pronounce that correctly, costectomy, ectomy, what did we do? We removed one of the ribs and remember my Barbie uh, story uh, that uh, I believe she's Russian or Ukrainian model who actually had some of her ribs removed and that's a costectomy. Intercostal or intercostal space or your ICS, that is the spaces, al, pertaining to enter between your cost, your ribs. Femoral artery, al, pertaining to your femur, the largest bone in your body. That's your largest and longest and heaviest bone in your body, which is in your thigh. Your tibia, eh, nice to know. It's in your lower leg, tibialgia. Um, your tarsal bones, al, pertaining to your um, ankle bones. So you could have tarsitis, tarsalgia in your ankle. Tarsal bones are in your ankle. Carpal bones are in your wrist. Joints, that's the place where uh, two bones meet. Uh, um, we talked about flexion and extension, abduction and adduction regarding the joint movements. Nice to know for this chapter, but uh, it's more uh, relevant when um, you're in anatomy and physiology. Ligaments, tendon, cartilage, bursae. Your ligaments and tendons. Ligaments are uh, connective tissue that uh, connect uh, bone to bone. Um, like your tibia and your fibula, uh, the bones of your lower legs, they're connected together with this connective tissue called ligaments. And tendons connect muscle to bone. Cartilage is like bone, but it doesn't have the mineral deposits like calcium and phosphates in it that make it really super um, hard. So cartilage is uh, is uh, supportive and protective, but it is, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's softer. Bursae are the pockets of uh, synovial fluid or the fluid that makes uh, your joints um, uh, move freely and with less friction and uh, or bursa, for singular, bursae, plural, and those are the pockets in your joints. So you can have chondritis and chondrodynia, which is inflammation or infection of your cartilage, and chondrodynia, pain in your cartilage. Arthritis, uh, inflammation or infection of your joint spaces. We could do arthroscopic surgery. Ick pertaining to the joint space and scope, I want to um, instead of cutting you open, like wide open and opening you up for a whole bunch of problems, we can use a um, uh, endoscopic uh, surgery. We can go inside and um, with much less trauma. Bursitis, inflammation or infection of the pockets or the bursa in your joints. And sometimes we have to take out um, the joints because they're damaged beyond repair or they're causing an immune reaction. And that's called a bursectomy. Fascia is the covering of uh, muscle and it tends and then it turns like, you know, that covering spreads down and turns into tendons. And of course, the tendons connect uh, to bone. Remember my uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, uh, chicken leg analogy. Skeletal muscle is a voluntary muscle and they're connected to your skeleton. Cardiac muscle, of course, is uh, the muscle um, related to your heart or your heart muscle, and of course, smooth muscle. Those are your visceral muscles or the muscles associated with your gastrointestinal tract. Skeletal, you can control. Cardiac and smooth, you can't. So skeletal is voluntary muscle. Cardiac and smooth is involuntary. The, um, the prefix in, um, um, like in the word involuntary, means no or not. Your tendons, of course, you could have tendon pain and tendodynia, you could have tendodynia, you could have tendolysis or the breakdown of your tendons, and of course, uh, secondary to tendonitis, inflammation or infection of your tendons. 
your musculoskeletal system. We talked about that myopathy, disease of muscle, myositis, inflammation and infection of muscle. Fasciotomy. Fascia, remember the covering of your uh, muscles. Sometimes uh, it, to open up the pressure, I have to cut into it. Fasci uh, fasciotomy, right? Tomi to cut into. And why is a hint that this Y here on the end of this suffix tomi is a hint that it is the process. Fasciitis, inflammation, infection of that covering. And remember my regarding the fascia, that second skin analogy regarding the Kentucky Fried Chicken leg analogy that we just mentioned. Motion is uh, kinesthetics or kinesiology, logi, study of how your muscles move. Tone or tonicity, that's how much pressure or tone that is in uh, fluid and that's in solutions. And you learn more about that in anatomy and physiology. Uh, contraction, tax, also means movement as well. Um, paresis, disorders of movement, plesia. Remember, we talked about paralysis. Para alongside, that's the prefix, and lysis is the suffix that means to break down. Dystonia, that means the tone of my patient or their, their muscle tone is abnormal. And uh, we could use a tonograph to figure that out in the Department of Kinesiology, which is um, movement studies, which is a subset um, topic or, or a study from the Department of um, Physical Therapy. Hyperkinesia, my patient's moving too much or exaggerating movement. Taxoataxia, my patient cannot move or cannot contract their muscles. Hypotaxia, they they have a decreased contraction or decreased force of contraction. Hypertaxia, which is an, eh, not really a word. Hypo, it's odd because hypotaxia is a word, but hypertaxia isn't really. But hyper means, of course, excessive. Ankylosis means um, like winding or like crooked. So you can have an, uh, ankylodactyly, also known as deputrin nodules, when you have osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Arthritis, inflammation, or infection of your joints. Um, now, this is what uh, uh, the textbook uh, starts doing, right? They have these categories, and from these categories, you can actually make up your own multiple choice questions. So, regarding pain, which of the following here is pain in your bone? Ostalgia, arthralgia, tenalgia, or myalgia? Of course, it's nostalgia. Which one is pain in your joint? Arthralgia, nostalgia, tenalgia, myalgia. You can see how this goes. So nostalgia, pain in the bone. Arthralgia, pain in the joint. Tenalgia, pain in the tendons. Myalgia, pain in the muscles. Atrophy, atrophy, hypotrophy, and hypertrophy. Atrophy means the process of no growth. Hypertrophy, process of too much growth. Hypotrophy, uh, process of diminishing or a uh, very little growth, but um, we kind of use atrophy instead of hypotrophy um, uh, regarding um, little to no growth. Don't worry about this. That's genuvalgum, genuvarium. Yeah, nice to know. Uh, ankylosis, we already talked about crepitus, is the sound that uh, joints make, especially if they're broken. Uh, if you've ever had a broken bone, it sounds like grating cracked knuckles. Hypotonia, hypertonia, hypo, not as much, hyper, too much tone, or, uh, you know, uh, muscle tone. There can be such thing as a too much muscle tone if you're tensed out, or uh, if your muscles are, are spasming and they're contracting too much. Dystaxia, ataxia, meaning, um, remember, tax, Think contraction and contraction is actually movement in the musculoskeletal world. Dyskinesia, bradykinesia. Remember, we talked about the effect of anti seizure medications gives you dyskinesia or abnormal uh, movements, uh, state of condition of abnormal movements, or bradykinesia, state of condition of slow movements. Uh, this is spelt wrong. It's myospasm, not mysospasm, M Y O spasm. And a myospasm, of course, is muscle that, you know, uh, and well, it's there, it's kind of semi-normal, but if it happens too much, it becomes abnormal. But a myospasm is, uh, remember the story I talked about uh, where um, I had a friend of mine, her, her, 
her buttocks kept on contracting uh, for to the beat of the sound for some bizarre reason. And that's a spasm. It's a, it's an uncontrolled contraction. And again, you could see it's a repeating itself. I said after the um, um, slide thir 33 or 34, uh, but you can even see as early as slide 26, it starts breaking it down. So could I have a question? Is which of the following? Which of the following is a pain in my joint? Is it arthralgia, arthro arthrodynia, both and neither? Of course, arthralgia, arthrodynia, same thing. Cervicodynia, I could ask, where is that pain? It's a pain in the neck. Uh, I don't like the knee one, genovalgum, genovarum. Just no genu means knees. Which of the following is slow movement, bradykinesia? Which of the following is abnormal movement, dyskinesia? Which of the following is decreased movement, hypokinesia? Which of the following is increased movement, hyperkinesia? Which of the following is abnormal tone, dystonia? Which is the following that adds too much tone, hypertonia? Which of the following has too little tone, hypotony? And the, the, especially for this chapter, chapter four and chapter five, the questions write themselves. And you can see here uh, how they do it. So let's go through here, see uh, other things. Remember the Department of Radiology, Logi study of radiation and x-rays or CXR, which is a chest x-ray. It could be a PA or an AP view and a lateral view or a lat view. Computer, uh, computed axial tomography, that's a CAT scan and CT computerized, uh, computerized uh, tomography. That's, uh, you know, it takes multiple x-rays and then it puts it together and, and gives you a picture. Remember the one I was telling you about? It's kind of like an anatomy where, well, well, you'll learn in anatomy and physiology where there's like layers. And an MRI, of course, is magnetic resonance, magnetic resonance imaging. And this is all in the Department of Radiology. And that's a good question I could ask. We just performed an MRI. Who, where do I get the results? Who's going to do the wet read? And a wet read is... You know, like uh, it's a play on like, you know, if you have if you ever had a Polaroid or a film, it's like wet and the and a wet read is a semi unofficial read from the radiologist on what the test results are. Which of the following are diagnostic procedures for joints? Um, a needle sticking into my joint space, that's arthrocentesis. What is the actual uh, report of uh, the recording of my um my joint space arthrogram what is the actual machine that views um, the joint space arthroscope what is the actual process of viewing the joint space arthroscopy what is the process of recording that joint space and that's uh arthrography so you could see again the questions write themselves which of the following is the actual machine that measures the electricity of the muscles that's the electromyogram which is the actual process that's electromyography and myography is just uh, the process of recording muscles and emg is the acronym for electromyography um curvature spine kyphosis lordosis scoliosis uh, nice to know not really a it's more of a clinical thing than uh, medical terminology thing. Syndactyly, that means um, my my fingers are, are are stuck together. Polydactyly, I have one extra finger, or two extra fingers. Um, bone inflammation, itis, we already know when those. Which of the following are bone conditions? Which of the following is abnormal growth? Osteo, uh, abnormal growth of bone, osteodystrophy, which is the breakdown of bone, osteolysis which is uh, the untimely death of bone cells, osteonecrosis, which is the hardening of bone cells. Now, remember, bones, just like everything else, they have, they can't be too hard, they can't be too soft, and, it, and bone can be sclerotic. Uh, cranial uh, exotostosis, and eh, it's not a common word. Cranial malacia, uh, spondylomalacia, remember, malacia, osteomalacia is more common, but malacia means abnormal condition of softening. Tarsotopsis, your tarsals of your ankle, your tarsal bones will start drooping. That's not a good thing. You don't need to know bone fractures. It's not a clinical class. Um, effusions are fluid, uh, abnormal fluids inside the joint space. 
you could have a bursa lith, you could have stones in your bursa or the pockets of uh, fluid in your joint space. But if I could ask, which of the effusion is blood in the joint space? Hemarthrosis. Which is, what type of effusion is water in the joint space? Hydroarthrosis. And what type of fusion in the joint space as pus? And that's pyarthrosis. Atrophy, no growth. We went all these. And you could start seeing it's like wash, rinse, and repeat. Okay. Start repeating things. And then mix and matching things. Um, what looks good? Osteochondritis, inflammation and infection of not only the bone, osteo, but condor, the cartilage as well. Osteomyelitis, it's not only the inflammation of bone, osteo, but it's also the inflammation of myelo, which is the bone marrow. So osteomyelitis, that's inflammation and infection of not only the bone, but the bone marrow as well. Osteocarcinoma, of course, oma, tumor, carcin, cancerous tumor. So you have benign osteocarcinomas and you have malignant uh, osteocarcinoma. One example of a highly malignant uh, osteocarcinoma is osteosarcoma. Sarcoma is a fleshy tissue tumor, highly malignant, very aggressive. And the osteosarcoma, oh, I don't need to tell you. You'll learn it in pathology. Osteogenesis imperfecta, a congenital disease al pertaining to con, so prefix with, genito, uh, could either mean genitals or birth, right? So it's with birth. Uh, osteogenesis imperfecta comes from uh, um, before you were born. So osteogenesis, the bone gets formed or uh, formation of bone is imperfect or, or, or flawed, and it'll give you osteomalacia and then, you know, Break down a bone. Mm, osteopenia, nice. And and again, you should know these already. Oh, porosis, osteoporosis. That's when in especially in women older, uh, in older age, postmenopausal, they start having um, the bone starts becoming porous and starts leaking out magnesium and and sulfates and uh, calcium. And if you start uh, leaking out your salts, the bone will get osteomalacia, it'll, it'll get abnormally soft. Arthritis, osteoarthritis, septic arthritis, usually, uh, and rheumatoid arthritis, both with a fever, but septic arthritis, um, probably secondary to bacteria. Rheumatoid, arth rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease. That means it's your body uh, um, fighting itself. If you look at the word rheumatoid, oid, rheumat means um, bodily fluids and like blood and synovial fluid, which is inside your joints, inside the bursa. And uh, the Department of Medicine that uh, is the subspecialty, and they're really good at the arthritis or the different types of arthritis, is the Department of Rheumatology. Rheumatology. Okay, and again, they're MDs who specialize in what? The arthritis or the different types of arthritis. Remember SEAL? Um, that's a herniation, so you can anything that's sticking out that shouldn't be sticking out, and that herniations are also called subluxations. Um, condor, we already know that's bone marrow, not bone marrow. Sorry, sorry. Take that, delete it. Condor is um, sorry, it's a little bit late. Condor is um, uh, your cartilage. Now, don't mix up condor and costo. Costo is your ribs. Condor is your cartilage. So costochondritis is the inflammation or infection of the ribs and its associated um, cartilage. And remember, your ribs need cartilage so your chest can move up and down when you breathe. Myositis, inflammation or infection of my muscles, myopathy, of course, disease of my muscles. But if I had poly uh, uh, polymyopathies or polymyositis, um, that means what? I have many. Poly is the prefix that means many. Mm, nice to know. Dyskinesia, good to know. Necrotizing fasciitis, that means inflammation or infection of my fascia. That you know, second sin's covering, and it's necrotizing. That means it's dying. Analgesics. And 
is an anti means no or not. So if I give you an analgesic, I'll Alja is pain, so an analgesic is a drug that gives you no pain. Anti-inflammatory, like Tylenol, that's a pain, that, that's a uh, medication that will do what? Against your inflammation. And you might even hear the acronym NSAID, that's non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. And the classic example is like Motrin and Tylenol. Antipyretic, also Tylenol. Pyre means uh, fever or fire. So an antipyretic medication, that means my I'm giving it to my patient who has a fever. And anti uh, uh, arthritic drugs is is usually an anti-inflammatory drug to, you know, uh, to decrease all the signs and symptoms of arthritis. Ectomy, Tomy, remember the difference between the two. Ectomy, think X's, you cut out. Tomy, you are just cutting. You're not removing anything. Orthotics versus orthopedic uh, surgery. Remember, orthotics is the person who makes the prosthesis, right? Like braces and that kind of thing. Orthopedic surgeon, that's the person who does the surgery and also writes the orders for orthotics. And then orthotics, they build the prosthesis. Nice. Nice to know. Well, not nice to know. These are must know, but again, it's wash, rinse, and repeat. We've seen all these before uh, in this chapter. I'm trying to look for something new. But you could see how I could take this. What it was, which we're following is a treatment of muscle. Will I remove the muscle? That's my um, myectomy. It goes, um, which of the following means is a treatment of muscle that will fixate the muscle? Myodesis. Which of the following is. Uh, um, I'm going to remove uh, myomectomy, myectomy, they're both the same, which is the um, um, the surgical repair of the muscle, that's myoplasty, which is the suturing of the muscle, that's myorophy, and what uh, what is it called when I just cut into muscle? I'm not removing the muscle, but I cut into it maybe to relieve pressure, uh, so that's a myotomy. And you could do the same thing here with fascia. Notice it's the same uh, suffixes or suffices. I think that's the proper way to say it. You can do the same thing with tendons. Uh, and these are some variations. Nice to you know, but remember um, your vertebrae, you got seven of them in your neck. So that's C1 through C7. Um, your thoracic, you have 12 ribs. Uh, in your chest, so that's T1 through T12. Your lumbar uh, spine has five pieces, L1 through L5. Your sacral spine is five bones that are fused together, so those are labeled S1 through S5. Those are not only the labels for the vertebrae, they're also labels for the nerves that come out of the spinal cord that go through this vertebrae. HX, we already know, is history. Uh, um, we don't like to use TX too much. That means treatment. And FX is fracture in um, um, in orthopedics. Anterior cruciate ligament, posterior cruciate ligament. Cruciate means it crosses over, like like uh, in in Espanol cruz, which is a cross. And that's what a cruciate ligament does. They cross over and you have one in the front, one in the back, your ACL and PCL. You also have collateral, collateral, meaning what? Co is what? They're sharing or co-pilots, co they're together. Lateral means on the side. So of course you have medial and lateral ligaments, which is your medial cruciate ligament and your lateral cruciate ligament. So you can now know when you're watching like NFL news, like, oh, this, this running back is out because it has ACL and MCL damage. Now you know what these things mean. Osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. This is usually slang. Um, ROM is a uh, range of motion. FROM is functional range of motion. Um, but we just use ROM. Oh, uh, I don't know what DTR is. Uh, my brain is not working, but I mentioned NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, EMG, electromyogram. 
uh, PT, physical therapy, uh, uh, rice therapy is uh, rest, um, ice, and uh, E is elevation, and C is compression. I don't know the other ones, WB, w bat, ORIF, and not too common in the internal medicine world. And, and I don't believe they're too common. But EMG, NSAID, RICE, um, those are very common. Okay, and that should be good. All right, thank you very much. Thanks for playing, and uh, we'll see you in class.